really excited. It's, I think it's, I'm, I'm almost at the edge of knowing about every single train in the whole country, I feel. And each piece of stitching is unique, just like the stitches. And we're really pleased. When we designed this, it's gone through many different iterations, hasn't it? We know originally it was going to be one long train here at Guildhall, but now it's chalked up into different stations. And hopefully you're in the station that you want to be in, but if not, just imagine that you're on a train meeting your loved ones. <laughs> and uh, we're really looking forward to opening and welcoming to Ross Stitchers and the public to admire the artwork. contribution and hopefully not be too embarrassed compared to the expertise I see around me. connected and shared your stitches and stories throughout the project. That's right. Yes. yes. My piece is Mr. Shrub Hill and I did uh, three others as well. And they've got little birds in the front and little red dressed person driving the train. <laughs> it's wonderful to be uh, at the Guildhall which is a superb place to have this stitch train exhibition. That one there, I did that one. First time I stitched. We're a national organisation that supports community rail partnerships and station adoption groups. And last summer, because of um, the uh, sort of the, the pandemic situation and, and lockdown, it was very difficult for station adopters to to go out and about and do the things that they they loved um, on station platforms. But they still wanted to show that that they could get involved and still sort of work together and and collaborate in a different way. That's my husband and me. And where are you going to? We're going actually, we're going from Albany to Worcester. It's my piece there. I was trying to do my husband and I. Um, I think I turned out okay. This one just here. Yeah. Me and my blue jumper. <laughs> um, I just wanted to put my dog in with me on that one. Yeah, she was an old dog and uh, she's no. gone since then. This is uh, me uh, making my way to London uh, on, uh, on a Great Western train from uh, Worcester Parkway. Which are your pieces? Right, these two here. That's my husband and daughter in the left one, and myself and my son in the right. And he's in the RAF at the moment. And my son actually was sat by me a couple of times whilst I was doing the first one. And, and joined in and actually did some of the stitching for me. This one's my mum and she's a ticket collector and that one's me. This one is mine and I'm 10 years old. My dad did one, my mum did one, my nan did one. Uh, my piece features a duck or mallard. Um, and the reason being behind that is I love mallards. And... These two. That's two, yeah. That was our son and daughter in law and their little dog Rosie and then me and husband. We've done this one. Stitched the driver on the Bonk Green train. This is our station for our new friends group, the Friends of Druidbridge Spa Railway Station. So we're looking forward to seeing this actually up on a wall somewhere on the station. Um, once a week um, to visit my daughter in Codsall, which involves three trains. So. so you'll be able to see a few for artwork in different stations. Yes. Love doing it. Great to be part of it. It was lovely to know that I was part of something bigger. I do a lot of cross stitch on my own, but it was nice to be involved in a big piece of work. And it was such a fun project with my family and yeah, my children to get involved with as well. And for them to come and see these, it's just fantastic. It was really good fun. I only came across it by accident, but I really enjoyed doing it. 
lovely to see the whole lot of them all together now. Quite good fun uh, during lockdown. That was really, really lovely thing to do. I'm quite proud of what I done. <laughs> I think it's absolutely brilliant, really, really good and such a lot of work from everybody. They've done really well. I well, just absolutely loved it, yeah. I hope we do something similar again. Brilliant, yeah. yeah it's so lovely to see the different interpretations. It's very clever. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing to see. Um, I was just really chuffed to sort of be part of it. Um, I don't know anybody else that's, that's done it, but it's nice to come here and... Um, and talk about it and, and, and meet others that have joined in as well. It was a great thing to do during lockdown. Really enjoyed it. It's something that connected everybody, even though we were apart from one another. And to come here today and see them all put together is just fabulous. I think it, it's fantastic. When you see your little square, you think, what could this look like as part of the bigger thing? But actually seeing these, uh, these pieces now framed it's a lasting legacy for, for what's been a difficult year and when we see these hopefully up at railway stations for a long time to come, they'll remind us of, of how the community did come together on this project this year.